Hey y'all, this is our final video for our honeymoon in Dubai. So to recap us, we did go to the Dubai Mall, the Burj Khalifa, and then outside of the Dubai Mall and the Burj Khalifa, we were able to see a fountain show on our very first day. On our second day, we decided to visit the Dubai Frame, where at this point in time, I was so highly encouraged to conquer my fears by walking on this glass floor okay so this is at the top of the Dubai frame and when you look down honey you are looking down beneath you okay and of course it didn't stop there we did dinner in the sky and then we had our desert safari and today we are on to our full day fourth day actually in Dubai so being that Dubai is like 18 hours um for flight for us, we did spend a lot of our time traveling, but we did get quite a few full days in the city. As you all see here, we are on our fourth day and we are picking up with our breakfast yacht tour. So very, very exciting. This, if I'm not mistaken, is my very first time on a yacht. So of course, I did not know I was gonna have to take off my shoes, but it makes perfect sense. So I'm so glad that we both wore sneakers so we didn't have to walk barefoot, which I know many people do and it shouldn't be a problem because they keep it clean, but we had socks on, which was amazing. I absolutely love boat tours or yacht tours because it takes the walking out of the experience, okay? So you really get to ride around the city um, and actually tour parts that you haven't toured yet. So we were able to have breakfast shortly on this yacht. As most of you all know, Stefan and I are vegan, so for our breakfast we had fruit and we had some toast and jam, but we already knew that after this, honey, we were going to go sit down and eat. As we were riding, we saw a lot, a lot of beautiful homes and houses. That is what we're speculating this structure is. And also a lot, a lot of beautiful buildings. And we finally got to see the Atlantis up close, but not personal. Um, we did not stay at this hotel, but it is one of the most popular hotels in Dubai. And actually, a this hotel or a sister company to Atlantis, Beyonce, actually performed there while we were in Dubai. We did not know she was performing, so we didn't get tickets to see her. And this is the seven-star hotel that is in Dubai. Planet Terra, which is Planet Earth, and we are getting some vegan food. I think we'll at least have one more time to eat at a vegan restaurant before we leave. This is our last full day. We will leave um, sometime tonight. Hopefully, no flight troubles and things like that. You all hear the music in the background, so I'm gonna have to cut it short and just do some voiceover. <laughs> So we decided to try quite a bit of food from Planet Terra because we were just so excited about some of their menu items. As you all can see, I may or may not have licked my fingers. The kebab was not 100% to my taste preference. It was kind of, uh, I'll eat it, not the best thing on the menu in our opinion. Um, we did decide to get some of the pancakes and fruit or French toast. I'm not for sure how it was listed on the menu item. It was really, really good. However, eating this with a fork was not something I should have done because the ice cream literally got right on top of my teeth. It was really, really good, but the facial expressions I was making was due to brain freezes and tooth freezes, okay? And Stefan actually put me on to what he ordered onto the menu because what he actually ordered was actually my favorite, favorite thing that they had, which was kind of like a grilled chicken Caesar wrap. It was really, really good. I ended up telling them that I wanted to replace my kebab order with this because it was just like really, really good. And we have actually even duplicated this um, at home in some form of fashion. And our final stop was the Museum of the Future, which we both are super, super excited about. If you are planning to go to the Museum of the Future on your trip to Dubai, you most definitely want to order these tickets in advance. This is a new, newer attraction, 
and Stefan and I almost missed being able to go because we did not know that you had to buy tickets so so far in advance as you all can see we are literally watching I guess you can say a flying robot even their elevators were like little pods and this is what we're looking at right now so very very amazing we did get the opportunity to ride these pod elevators as I am calling them um very very futuristic is basically the whole thing that is going on in this museum of the future um and now we are kind of like almost in like this simulation type of thing and where we were able to get to see pictures on the wall but it also felt like we were in an elevator so I honestly do not know I just know that it was really really fun and it was really really exciting just to get to see earth things and then also like some of the predictions for the future or even projects that they are working on for the future. this had to be one of my favorites these were basically like glasses of different species and different creatures and they all changed colors and you got to see them from different points of view I think what makes this like a really really amazing attraction is because like the colors like literally changed by themselves and it was just being put in a room of like all of these different species and creatures with a bunch of colors which if you are heightened by color sensitivity or your senses are heightened by that just please be mindful when stepping into this room another another crazy thing is we did go into this room that was a part of the museum of the future and as you walk it was like waves would just move in the in the ground or in the carpet which super super crazy but super super amazing at the same time this is someone else going through most of the museum you will be able to go to the top floor where you would actually get to see this structure that you see that they use as advertisement they're very beautiful and they're very nice so uh what are you enjoying yourself i am i have like a sinus headache so whew, push it through it this is like our last what is it? Our last event excursion or yeah. like activity before we hop on the plane to go back to the US. Yeah. Super excited, very interesting. So really loving it. I'm loving it here, but I'm tired. I'm feeling a little congested, so it's it's time to go home for sure. <laughs>